Hi everyone, welcome to A Beer with Brad, episode 42. Tonight I'm having an Oktoberfest from Big Grove Brewing Company. Big Grove Brewing Company is located in Iowa City, Iowa, but they're planning on opening a tap room down the road here in the midtown part of Omaha. Uh, Oktoberfest season is rapidly approaching. Uh, over the last couple weeks, a lot of Oktoberfest beers have been hitting the store shelves. Uh, I found this one at the local grocery store but all kinds at all the different bottle shops, everything from the small local breweries through the big international, uh, huge breweries worldwide, all of them are making Oktoberfest right now. So the Oktoberfest season is usually in full swing in September, and uh, Oktoberfest is a, a great beer, a great part of that season. I really like them. There's also a lot of pumpkin beers coming out right now, but I'm not really a fan of the pumpkin beer. So Oktoberfest from Big Grove Brewing. While I was at the grocery store, I also saw this. This is uh, Fat Orange Cat, which is out of, I think, Connecticut on the East Coast. But Fat Orange Cat makes a lot of great hazy IPAs. Um, all kinds of different um, orange cat theme, kitten theme. Uh, this one, their, their Oktoberfest beer, is uh, Fat Orange Cat Barbarian Kittens. So... Uh, great artwork on the can. Always like a can with good artwork on it. So that was a fun one I picked up too when I was getting the the local beer for beer with Brad. So first off tonight, I wanted to remind everyone that coming up in just about a month, the weekend after Labor Day is the annual Countryside Village or no Countryside Village, the annual Rockbrook Village Art Fair. Uh, Rockbrook Village Art Fair is always the weekend after Labor Day. Uh, it's Saturday 10 to 6 usually and Sunday 10 to 5. Uh, usually I am right to the west of the middle a little bit. Um, there's kind of like a plaza area in the middle with some food and music. And I'm usually just on the west end of that on the main, main row. So I haven't got my booth assignment yet for this year. But I would assume it would be right in that same area. So the Rockbrook Village Art Fair is now the, I'd say, the biggest art fair around. So many great things there, everything from uh, painters, photographers, uh, ceramics. Uh, last year they even had a guy that, he, the, you see the people that make the really cool tables with the live edge wood, or sometimes they like, they'll use the, the wood and they'll fill in gaps with epoxy, like clear epoxy. This guy actually took a table filled in the middle with a uh, clear epoxy, but before he did that, he made like beach scenes and like little miniature figures and everything. Really cool, just never know what you're gonna find. There are always so many cool things there. So I always have a great time. Usually it's that time of year when the weather stops being super hot uh, and gets to be like the first real weekend of fall and starts to feel really good. Although this year that's kind of uh, started already here in August, so. It's kind of a, been a great week around here once the heat broke. So uh, I don't have a ton to talk about tonight. Um, as you've probably noticed, this video is very, very late. It's already, I'm recording it on August 11th. Uh, usually I try to have it out the first Thursday of the month. And uh, people around Omaha know that we had a big storm on July 31st this year. Uh, it was a crazy windstorm. I've seen some crazy windstorms before, but this one was just a whole nother... Uh, level of, of wind and crazy. Uh, the the first front came through, really strong winds. We had a nice shelf cloud. I tried to take a couple pictures of it just from the yard, but we have too many trees. So uh, came through and we had a lot of wind, but the power is still on. Nothing really happened. So then I kind of thought, oh, we made it through. Not a big deal. And then all of a sudden, a few minutes later, another gust of wind came and um, the the airport reported a 90 mile an hour wind gust, which is uh, equivalent to a uh, category two hurricane. So you hear a lot of people around here saying that, oh, it wasn't a tornado, it wasn't that strong. But when you compare it, the same 90 mile an hour winds is the same as a category two hurricane, that kind of puts it in a different perspective. So we ended up with a lot of tree damage and a tree landed on the roof and uh, punctured about a dozen holes in there, including one pretty good sized one. So that said, you remember two videos ago, I was out in the backyard because the basement was flooded. And then last month I said, we're just getting everything in the basement put back together. I'm gonna have uh, my Beers Brad area set up right over here uh, to, to the right of where I am now while 
that wall is getting ripped out tomorrow because it had water in it. So uh, the beer with bread, the traditional beer with bread set with the bookshelves and the cameras and stuff behind it is uh, indefinitely in storage now for at least a few months. So uh, that all that said, I haven't had a ton of time to really even think about getting this beer with bread done. I you know, kind of kicked it down the road a little bit. And uh, usually I have time to think about what I want to talk about each month and come up with kind of a little game plan. And this month my mind has been all over the place but on beer with bread, which is, you know, come, you know, you kind of expect that. But don't have a lot to, to mention, but I just want to get on and say why I wasn't, why the video was so late. And I did want to remind everyone about the Countryside Village Art Fair. Uh, should have some new photos coming out pretty soon. Uh, did some Storm Chasers uh, photos the other night. Uh, also, uh, back in July, I was in Idaho, so I still have some more photos from the plows that I want to get put out. And then we're coming right up on fall season, so there's going to be plenty to photograph coming up. But uh, right now, it's uh, just a matter of finishing up a bunch of projects I have going, getting caught up on all the stuff I've kind of neglected over the last couple of weeks, and, and uh, get back uh, running full speed again. Well, I hope everyone enjoys their Oktoberfest. It's a great time of year, always some great uh, festivals around, so get out, enjoy the festivals, enjoy your Oktoberfest beer, enjoy the, the weather. Hope to see you all uh, the weekend after Labor Day at Rock Brick Village. But once again, uh, thanks for joining me tonight, and I'll see you again next month.